The BetterMaker EQ232D is the software version of the BetterMaker EQ232P Mark II. It can make your track sound from this to this. The BetterMaker 232D is not a plugin to introduce heaps and heaps of colorized sound, but a precise EQ which will introduce some analog flavor to your mix. Let's check what the BetterMaker 232D can do and how it sounds. I'm Marlon and welcome to the White House Studio. The plugin has been set up to use your ears and not your eyes too much. This layout needs some getting used to, but let me explain what does what so you know how to use it. At the left we start with a bypass knob and the high pass filter. When you turn the dial, it also automatically enables the band over here. It works like that with all EQ knobs. You can also enable or bypass an EQ band here. When you want to see the frequency you're choosing, it is shown in the display at the right side of the channel. This section is a two-band belt type EQ. This dial is for the frequencies. Again, the value is shown in the display on the right. And here you do the gain boost or gain reducing for the band. The bandwidth or the Q can be set here with these two toggles. Press the right to widen, Press the left one to sharpen the bandwidth. Now the bandwidth is shown in octaves and not the Q factor. So 3 covers a frequency range of 3 octaves and is widest. And 0.2 is the smallest bandwidth or Q you can choose. The top EQ does the lower and lower mid range from 45Hz to 1kHz. The bottom EQ has the same exact controls and covers a frequency range from 650Hz to 15kHz. So the lower mid to high frequencies. Now the PEQ section uses Poltec style EQ. This means you select a frequency and at that frequency you can do both boost and attenuate at the same time. With low end this results in a tighter cleaner low end and at the same time it will give more weight. The attenuation removes anything below the set frequency and the boost will boost at the set frequency which results in a sharper boost around that area while everything below is reduced. It effectively becomes a resonant high pass filter. You set the frequency here with these knobs and I fortunately also made it possible to click directly on the frequency. Let's check it out on the drum bus. It adds a lot of weight for sure. There's some explanation needed on how the frequencies are labeled on the plugin. It says CPS, which means cycles per second, or as we like to call it, hertz. So this is in hertz. The choices are 20, 30, 60 and 100 hertz. This dial here is for the boosting and the one below is for the attenuation. On the right side, you'll find the controls for the high frequencies. The labeling says KCS, which stands for kilocycles per second, which is the same as kilohertz. The attenuation and the boost both have independent frequency selectors. Here you select the frequency for attenuation. It's 5, 10 or 20 kilohertz. And here you select the frequency for boosting. You can choose from 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 12 and 16 kilohertz. The P bandwidth only controls the bandwidth of the high frequencies. 
Also, how broader the bandwidth is, the less the boost will be. So this plugin is really meant to be used by your ears and not your eyes. Not a bad thing at all. The plugin automatically is a single channel, mono channel on a mono track. And when you insert it on a stereo track, it will default as a two channel plugin with the same controls on both channels. On the two channel version, by default, the top channel is the left stereo channel and the bottom channel is the right channel. Bettermaker has thought of extra controls for use in a DAW. You can link the channels here. All controls on both channels will do exactly the same. If you have made a change before linking, enabling link and turning a control on one of the channels will transfer the setting of that control to the other channel. So be aware of that. These two control switches here will let you copy the settings from the left channel to the right or from the right channel to the left. These stereo channels can be switched into a mid-side matrix by turning it on here. You can then also use the linking and copy the setting from one channel to the other. Very handy if you acute a setting on the mid channel and you want it on the sides, but a little less. Or you want it reduced on the mid channel and boosted on the sides. Just copy the settings to the other channel and adjust the gain and Q to whatever you want. Let me use the Better Maker as a group bus finalizing EQ so you get an idea of how it sounds. You'll notice on guitars, by only using the Pultec style EQ and boosting low end, it smoothens the guitars a bit. That is nice. Okay, let's continue.
This is with all BattleMakers 232Ds disabled. And here is with all BattleMakers enabled. It makes absolutely a positive difference. The sound of the plugin is clean and precise, but not harsh or unpleasant as some purely digital plugins can be. Try it out for yourself to see if this plugin fits your workflow and if it's an asset for your plugin collection. You find a link to the plugin in the description below. If you are on the lookout for a plugin which does add a lot of analog flavor and has a sound, you must check out my review of the plugin displayed on screen right now. Please remember to subscribe to this channel and like this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!